this you must create. If you don't create this, you will always live in fear. In India, nobody says, just no. They'll say, no, 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 no. <laughs> the fear that devil may come in, if you close the door, can I say yes to anybody for anything? I had a question, how do we learn to say no? When you know that uh, something is... Uh, like saying yes would affect you in an adverse way, uh, but you, still… You, you must send your WhatsApp message, no <laughs> <laughs> Because it happens with me a lot of times that I want to say no, but thinking of what the other person would uh, feel, I tend to say yes. So how do we stop that? I know in what context you're asking <laughs> No, no, no <laughs> That's not what I meant <laughs> That's not what I meant <laughs> I meant to say small things in life, this and that. But I've been always encouraging people to say yes and yes for everything. Yes or no, if I ask. People around me always say, Sadhguru, it's always yes, tell us what. So for you to say an absolute yes to everything, one important thing is you must create an atmosphere of integrity and trust. Hmm? If you create an atmosphere of absolute integrity and trust, all of us can say absolute yes when we know nobody will misuse our yes. We can all say hundred percent yes for everything, isn't it? That's what we should strive for. If it's not possible in the whole world, at least we must create small circles where we can say yes and there is no problem. Nobody misuses a yes. Very important. Very important for healthy unfolding of every life that you need at least a small cocoon of life around you where you can be a total yes. Without fear or favor, you can be an absolute yes. This you must create. If you don't create this, you will always live in fear. Being exploited is one thing. Being… Li living in a fear of exploitation is actually more damaging than exploitation itself. So today we are creating a world where, well, there is some reason for it also. There is reason for it also, I am not trying to live in some utopian world, I know how the world is, but I'm saying you must create your own little world where you can say yes, without any consequence to the yes. It's important. If we do not do this, then we will always live in walls. No is a wall, isn't it? In India, nobody says just no. They'll say, no, 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 no <laughs> Have you seen this? <laughs> Nowhere else it happens, only in India. No, 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 no. <laughs> they think one no won't stop them. <laughs> no is a wall, yes is a doorway, isn't it? If you open your door, a devil could come in or the divine could come in. The fear that devil may come in, if you close the door, you have also closed the door for the divine. What an unfortunate life, yes or no? You not only closed your door to negativity, you closed your door to everything because some negativity once came through your door. Don't do that to yourself. Once you live here, there are dangers of life, of course. But because there are dangers to life, if you close all possibilities to life, that'll become a very absurd and sad life. The walls that you build for self-preservation are also the walls of self-imprisonment. Hmm? If you build a wall to protect yourself today, after some time, this is your prison, isn't it? So no, 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 you built a wall around yourself. 
Can I say yes to anybody for anything? No, that's not possible, we've still not created that kind of a world. That's too high up there. That's why you must create at least a little world where you can say yes without consequence. Very important.